Welcome back everybody. I hope you're as excited as we are to watch this final episode. So here is part two of our three month, 2400 mile RV trip to Maine. Coming up on RV Street. Joni and I arrived here uh, yesterday and uh, it was raining, uh, but today it's not raining and we decided to get out and right now we are at York Harbor. Uh, this is our, we still got a little bit ways to go. Uh, we're gonna leave Saturday and go up to Bucksport, Maine, where Joni's brother lives. But for now, we're at a park and we got in the car and came down here to York's Harbor. I'm so excited about being here. So after we left Roaring Run in Pennsylvania, we get down 20 miles on the turnpike down Highway 76 and the car got whacked. It, we drop it off at the dealership. We've already been on the phone with the insurance company. We drop it off for repairs and now we're pressing on to Hershey, Pennsylvania. It's about 170 miles away. Yeah, so getting to Hershey was a different driving experience altogether. <laughs> I mean, we're climbing up and down the Appalachian Mountains, and we ended up going through three tunnels. They went through the mountains instead of over the mountains, which I was quite grateful for. <laughs> um, but very cool tunnels, I will say. Yeah. Uh, first time we had been through those kinds of tunnels, uh, and during, I mean, it was the most challenging drive. Yeah thus far going through Pennsylvania uh, but our coach Gracie that's the name we've given her Gracie uh, she handled it like a champ yes. I mean just not she didn't miss a beat uh, so we arrived uh, the same day uh, after we dropped the car off got on the highway drove at 170 miles and we arrived that same day at Thousand Trails Hershey yeah. RV and campground for a two-week stay. We had really been looking forward to arriving in this area of the country. Yeah. But now, because we don't have a car, mm -hmm. that really disturbed our plans. Yeah. Since we didn't have a car, uh, we decided to do a Thousand Trails Hershey campground um, review. And uh, you can see that also up there. Uh, so we don't need to go into big uh, details about that here, but it's a nice park. Very. Uh, beautiful countryside all around the park. Yeah, I really love this park. We met some wonderful people there. Mm -hmm. Joni really enjoyed playing a lot at this park. Um, and like she said, we met two couples and they've become friends. Mm -hmm. And uh, we keep up with them often online. Yeah, it was just an overall um, great park, fun to be at. We did manage to go to the Hershey Chocolate World for a day. Uh, that, was a, that was a nice afternoon getaway. Uh, it was free to park, free to get in. Had a lot of neat exhibits in there. Um, we thought it was the factory where they actually <laughs> make the chocolate. That's not what it is, but it's no. a fun place to go yeah, to. Yeah, a fun afternoon. So the Ford dealership that was doing our car repairs um, continued to give us reports 
on the repairs and this whole process ended up taking about two and a half weeks to complete. That forced us to extend our stay in Hershey by another week and we had to cancel our reservations in Accord, New York. And we were really looking forward to that one so I could see my granddaughter. Um, but that's not possible now. Anyway, we had to jump forward, get on the phone, get on the internet, change uh, reservations again. We just had to immediately go to our next destination, which is Sturbur Sturbridge, Massachusetts. Right. right. So we left Hershey, Pennsylvania, and we pulled a quick overnighter and then pressed on through to uh, Sturbridge, Massachusetts. Yeah. Um, we stayed in a Thousand Trails Park. Um, Sturbridge RV Resort. This park was scenic for sure, but it needed work. Yeah, it did. Uh, Memorial Day weekend, which was in three days when we arrived and the park was jammed. It was jam packed. Uh, this park has a lot of potential to being an excellent park, uh, but it's uh, this park is a little, it's small, it's tight, it's run down some, it just needs some work. Yeah. Most certainly. Uh, we had no cell signal. None. Um, even with the Wii Boost, yeah. we had virtually nothing. This park is kind of, if you go out of the park and travel two or three miles, you had cellular. But this park was kind of in a bowl mm. with trees and mountains all around us. No way you could get uh, cellular. Uh, but it did have um, free cable. Yep. Thank so, goodness. Yeah, again. <laughs> uh, the couple of times that we did need to make important calls, guess what? Yep, we jumped in the car, went into town, got cellular, turned on our hotspot. We brought our laptop with us when we went in there and made changes. Uh, and where the store that we found um, about, I don't know, five, six, five, six, seven miles from the campground where we did the, got the hotspot, this is the first store that I've ever seen Marty, the roaming robot. Oh yeah, that was very, I was like, what the, when I saw that. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, but right after uh, Memorial Day, once again, bad weather was building on our move day. So we got on, we went back into town, made more changes, and uh, we left one day early. Mm -hmm. And we are heading to Wells, Maine. just amazing. So we arrived in Thousand Trails Moody Beach um, RV Resort and Campground. And yes, it started to rain once again at this Wells Campground. Uh, usually by now, I mean it's June 1st right now, uh, by now it's usually really warming up, the spring rains are ro they're over, uh, but not so much this year and everybody we've no. talked to said yeah it's it's really been slow uh, getting into summer we had really nice uh, hookups in this campground yeah <clears throat> uh, met really nice neighbors met some nice neighbors and one motorhome leaving actually drifted onto the side of the road yeah and it slipped into a ditch and had to be towed out 
Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it, that was just a pilot error there. Wasn't paying attention, it was early in the morning, but uh, the park overall is okay. Uh, I And I say okay, about yeah. a four, a five. Yeah. But we only stayed here for three days until our final destination, Bucksport, Maine, at Joni's brother's house. So we left Moody Beach, just south of Wells, and now we headed up I-95 for our final leg of this 2400 mile journey. I was so excited uh, to being so close to the ending and the planning and the stopping and the camping and the never ending question, are we there yet? <laughs> yeah. Are we there yet? The answer was always no. <laughs> Uh, we just wanted to stop traveling and really just start exploring and we arrived at his house June 1st. Is he the first or I think we got yeah. it Wells first and his house the second. Yeah but and we just spent the day relaxing and I don't know just catching up on family stuff with my brother and yeah. But the next day <laughs> You know me, or if you don't, you're going to get to know me. I'm always Johnny on the spot. This coach is filthy and I need to do some maintenance. Yeah. <laughs> Rest was over. <laughs> so we... Washing. Washing and waxing. Waxing the motorhome. Vacuuming, changing the oil, greasing the chassis, going through it, this top to bottom, front to back. But she sure was in good shape and pretty when we got done. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Even her brother said, man, that thing, I see now what you're saying, that thing looks brand new. And I'm like, yep. Yep. So anyway, we wanted to do that when we first arrived, get all this work out of the way, get all caught up. Uh, and so now we're free to really soak in uh, what the coast of Maine has to offer for this whole summer. <laughs> Uh, now he has a real beautiful place. Um, it's on two acres, well, uh, two to three acres, and he loves having us here. You know how it goes sometimes uh, with family. Sometimes you don't want to be around them that much, but the way it works here, we stay out of each other's hair. He does his thing in the day. We leave, we go exploring. We do whatever, we just come back at night. We live in the motorhome, we cook in the motorhome. We do everything, but we do use his shower. Yeah, yeah. Which has been awesome. We have water coming in from the back of his house, and we just set up our water system like we normally do, uh, going through the filter systems into the softener and right into the coach. Then we took a heavy duty gauged electrical cord, ran it from the garage, under the garage door, up into the bay, and hook it to our adapter to the 50 amps. So now we bring in 20, 20 amps, amps into <clears throat> the coach. So 20 amps is perfect. Yeah, it's just learning to manage, manage your electric. Yeah, yeah. we just yeah, manage our electric. Yeah. Now on our tanks, we had to think about this pretty carefully. Yeah. How are we going to dump? We got a bath and a half. So that means we have two black tanks and a gray tank. So you know, and the, oh, and he has a septic tank here on the property, mm -hmm. but it's 180 feet, 180 feet away. Yeah. And you can't drive the motorhome back there because you'll sink in mud and have to be towed. <laughs> <laughs> After looking at a whole bunch of different ways to get the waste down to that septic tank, we ended up buying a portable waste container, aka <laughs> honey wagon. Uh, the honey wagon, and we dump our we dump. All three of our tanks, about once every three weeks, uh, we do them one at a time, and then Joni drags them to the septic tank uh, using uh, Randy's uh, lawnmower. That's kind of fun. Yeah, and then once it gets to it gets there, then I just lift it up, open up the valve, and away she goes. Uh, and it took uh, it takes about three trips to do this. Yeah. So. Joni and I just have a few little closing comments that we wanted to make. Um, full timing is not a full time vacation. It's not. It is really, it's a lifestyle. Instead of living at home, like we did when we were in our house, like, you know, when you live at your house, 
you're in one place and you live and do your stuff in one place. This is exactly the same thing, only you don't stay in the same place. It's not one big vacation. You still are, you're doing your life. You have to go to mail. You have to wash your clothes. You have to go into town to get groceries. You have to take care of the car. You have to, there's just all the living things. We've just chosen to do it at different locations eh, between Texas and Maine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for now. Um you know the thing learning where to get groceries every time every yeah you land in a city you've never been here before you don't know where anything is the first thing you do is pick up your phone and go closest grocery store closest walmart closest liquor store <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah uh, oh we have to do laundry where are we gonna go do that um it's time for our dental cleaning. Yeah. Where do you go to get your teeth cleaned? Who is a good dentist? Yeah. Uh, mail. Yeah, mail. Uh, so, you know, you need supplies from time to time. And a lot of these supplies you cannot find in a store around here. So what do you do? You go online, you order them. But you need a campground that accepts mail for you. And, you know, some parts will say, no, nah, we don't accept packages yeah. here. You can't, you know. So we have to wait till the following park, order ahead of time, and then have it mailed to the park we're going to be at. Mm -hmm. So there's all that kind of juggling around. Uh, and like I said, uh, there's always, uh, we've been changing our plans all along the way because of impending weather. We will not drive in bad weather. Uh, so we changed a lot of our plans because of that. Uh, pollen followed us the whole way, um, along with the- Robins. The Robins, yep. Yes. We lost our bicycle seat on our way to Diamond Caverns. Yep, yep. So we get to Diamond Caverns in Kentucky and we unloading, we see the seats missing off the bike on the back of the motorhome. Get on the phone. Closest bike store. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's in Bowling Green, 30 miles away. In the car we go to go get a bike seat. You know, I think, you know, the point is, you know, stuff happens. It happens when you're in a house. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. it happens when you're traveling. Yeah. Yep. You know? You're just in an area now where you don't know where anything is, so it becomes a journey. Everything becomes yeah. a journey. Yeah. Uh, one thing that has really impressed me is Joni has done this whole entire planning on her iPad with a program, an app. It's not really an app. It's a program. It's called Trip Wizard. Oh my. I love Trip Wizard. Yeah. I would be completely lost if you know, trying to get these reservations yeah. and, and without trip wizard. It's a very robust uh, uh, application. It costs thirty nine dollars a year to sign up and use, and it is got so many features, and you can come up with different versions of trips. Anyway, that's a whole nother thing. Uh, but she has done a magnificent job planning uh, all these yeah. different legs of where we're going to go and where we're going to stay, and oh. You know, it's just been awesome. I highly recommend Trip Wizard to anyone. Another thing that uh, we wanted to point out as the last comment on this whole trip is that Joni and I work as a team. Oh yes. In everything mm -hmm. we do, mm -hmm. and I mean everything. We do laundry together. We do dishes together. Grocery shopping. We do grocery shopping. Cleaning. Do cleaning. Planning exploring everything yes. we do we do joined at the hip yeah can I say that absolutely joined at the hip um, I don't think you could do this uh, well you, I don't think you could do this happily if you didn't work as a team yeah um, I think that's kind of a must uh, yeah I, I agree with that but we're gonna be here in Maine until the end of September mm -hmm lots of neat stuff coming up i hope you'll come along yeah oh and another reminder if you liked this video please hit the like button that really helps us out and subscribe if you haven't already mm -hmm. and the main thing is is we see a lot of people they'll watch our videos and then they'll never say anything and we love reading what people have to say absolutely you know we love those comments so if you could take a couple of minutes that would be great so that's it for now. This is the ending, the conclusion of part two. 
of our trip from RGV, traveling 2,400 miles in three months to arrive on the coast of Maine. This is RV Street. Stick, Stick around. around.